guys, Manu aka MPT3K here, and you probably clicked this video because now you've discovered that Scorbit supports virtual pinball games. And you want to share your scores and challenges and stuff with people all around the world. Well, I'll show you how to get started. Now first, obviously, your virtual pinball game has to support, has to have Scorbit support built in. Um, the game that I'm running currently does have it. And this video should apply to any game that has, any virtual pinball game that has Scorbit uh, built into it. So first thing you do is you want to download your game, get the latest version of the Scorbit supported virtual pin, and whether it's vir uh, Visual Pinball or Future Pinball or something else, and make sure it's updated, make sure it's running, okay? You want to make sure that the game is running. So I would suggest downloading it from either VPU or any of the sites that have virtual pinball games that have Scorbit support. Set it up outside of, uh, outside of your front end. Don't use uh, Pinball X or, or Pinup uh, front ends yet. We're just going to be dealing directly in the application so we can get everything set up and running right. As soon as you get it set up, launch the game, play a couple of games, flip around, make sure everything is set up before you move on to the next step. The next thing you want to do is to download the app from the either the Android store, the Google Play store, or the Apple store. And you can see we have a QR code in the game running on the DMD right now that will send you directly to downloading the app, or just go to the store, search for Scorbit, S-C-O-R-B-I-T, and then download the app. So we have the app showing up on the phone cam and I'm going to show you if you go to if you already have the app to make sure you're running on 128 click on your profile picture here go to settings and then ch click on app version and that will show you that I am currently on 1.2.8 make sure your version is that version or later and everything should be fine if you don't already have a Scorbit account, make sure when you download the app, it's going to pop up asking for a username and password. Create an account. Um, that's about as hard as that gets. Once you create the account, come on back and we'll continue. The next thing you want to do is to edit the script in either Visual Pinball, if you're using that, or if the game is supported in Future Pinball, you're using that, or whatever pinball system you should be able to go into a script and edit some of the uh, settings at the top of the script. For this particular game, the settings that you're looking for are Scorbit Active equals zero. So when the game comes, it's going to be set to Scorbit Active equals zero. That means that Scorbit is not currently enabled and running on this game. Change Scorbit Active to one, and that will enable Scorbit to be used on this particular VPIN. You also might see Scorbit show claim QR equals one. You should leave this alone, but basically this says it will show you a QR code at the beginning of the game for you to scan in and claim your player. If you set this to zero, then you won't see this QR code when you start a game. And the only way you can claim your game is to do it directly through the Scorbit app. There's also Scorbit claim small equals zero. If you have a higher resolution monitor, you can set that to one, which will make the QR code show up a little smaller, but I would just leave it alone and let it stay as large as size so that it's easiest for your phone to scan that QR code. So once you've enabled the script to say Scorbit active equals one, you should see this QR code show up in the game and it's gonna to be totally obnoxious. It's gonna sit right on top of the screen. But basically it says scan QR code with the Scorbit app to activate. You're starting the process to register your game with the Scorbit servers. So I'm going to take this guy off, actually. And I'm using my phone. I'm going to click the little, the little QR code up in the corner. And I'm going to scan this code. Now once I've scanned the code, you should see this message pop up in the Scorbit app. Ah, we see you have scanned a shiny new pinball machine. Let's get you set up. Three simple steps. The first one is we're going to say we're going to register and log in. We're going to create a venue and we're going to connect our machine. All right. Your machine needs a place to live. Scorbit refers to these locations as venues. A venue is basically going to be your home office, your home arcade, 
the murder garage that I have downstairs. Where are all your pinballs, pinball machines living? Either physical or virtual, they, they will all live in the same venue. So if you set up already a Scorbit account and you have physical pins, but you also have a V pin, you want to add this to that particular venue that's already created. If you have no venues and you're just starting off fresh, well, let's create a venue now where we'll keep all of our virtual and physical pins. So let's say we're going to create. And once again, if I had a Scorbit venue, I would search, find it, and add it to that existing venue. But we don't, so we're going to go on continue. So now we need to create a venue. I'm going to just call mine Manu's Venue. Please be more creative than that. <laughs> it's got my address and everything in there, but I can set this location to private. I'm not a public venue, I'm just in my house. We're going to hit save. And now it's pairing. And you'll notice, success, your Scorbitron is connected. That QR code just disappeared. It's now paired with the game. We click finish. And now we're almost ready to go. So what I suggest that you do at this point, you probably don't have to, but I'm going to suggest it anyway, is for you to quit the game. This is just for safety. We're going to quit the game. And then we're going to run it again. Technically, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it just to be safe. When you start it up, you hear that sound. That sound means you have just successfully connected to the Scorbit servers. Now we should be ready to play. All right, you're all ready to go. You have Scorbit enabled in the game. When you fire up the game, you should hear the little chime bling, that says that the game has successfully connected to the Scorbit servers. Also, if you fire up the game and you see a message up there that says, please set the time, something about your computer's time being off, Scorbit uh, needs your computer's time to be within a very small window of offness because it uses the time uh, in, its, uh, in its recordings and stuff like that. So make sure that you're, just check your Windows clock, make sure that it's accurate. Mine drifts, mine tends to drift maybe 30 seconds over like a couple of weeks and I never noticed it. Um, so just Turn on the auto sync of the clock and then maybe turn it off and on so it gets to sync again. But anyway, make sure that the time is correct. So here on the app, I have all the venues displayed now and I switched to my Mystery Pinball Theater 3000 user. So that's who I'm logged in as right now. And my venue is Mystery Pinball Theater 3000. So if I click on Mystery Pinball Theater 3000, it takes me over to my venue, which currently has Guardians of the Galaxy V-Pin. And any V-Pin you have is going to be going to have the V-Pin uh, label at the end of it, and any physical table that you have won't have it. So there's a Tales of Arabian Nights also in the house that is also Scorbit enabled. Um, if you have any, any physical pinball machines that are not Scorbit enabled, remember you can still use the Scorbit app to record the scores. You just take a picture of the DMD, sort of like Pindigo, and you can record the score that way. Alright, so let's go into uh, Guardians of the Galaxy V-Pin, and it loads a session, but there's no game playing right now. So it just basically shows me my top scores and leaderboards and stuff like that. Okay, you can scroll and see leaderboards, top scores, global top players, global top scores, top scores this month. It's a lot of neat things. Um, also, if you notice, if I click on, um, if I click on, say, this 1.9 million score, you notice that it not only has a screenshot of my score, See, there's my score right there. It also has me in there and also has a little cool little readout of data about, you know, the modes and stuff like that. Um, it's a fun visual thing right now. It shows you in red is ball one and then there's another color for ball two, another color for ball three. You can see how much time that game took. So that was actually a quite a long game. It was like 11 minute game for 1.9 million score. Anyway, swipe left and right to go back to on the screen. Once I start the game now, I'm going to press start on the game. Okay, the game fires up, and you notice Scorbit immediately knew that the game was started. It hasn't signed me in or anything, it's just, hey, a game has started, here you are. Um, I can remove the phone and scan the QR code using this QR code reader right here. See that? But if I don't want to keep doing that over and over again, I don't have to. I can simply tap this, uh, tap my player to claim my player score. You just tap the player. And there you go. As you can see up in the DMD, it says MPT3K. You see in the app, it says MPT3K. 
we're all set, we're all ready to go. And you can do that at any point in the game. So if you have an amazing game going and you forgot to do that, just pull out your phone, load up Scorbit, navigate to the game. Look, if I go to the S right now, oh my God, I lost my game, where is it? Well, just navigate back to the game. Even if this, the QR code isn't there, you can click, the, click your venue, click your game, and see the current status of the game, okay? I can even quit the app completely my cool desktop right go into scorbit i quit the app completely go into scorbit go to my game go to my venue go to my game and it loads a new session of the game that's currently in progress um so here we go all right we're ready to play let's just do quills class which i would never Ooh, do it's a skill shot as a first 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 mode but let's just do it for now and we're playing notice the scores are actually updating on the screen um, very, very cool. I'm gonna get a single shot. There's one. There's two. I might finish Kills Quest. I don't think I will. I think one hour later. Oh. oh, sorry. You just saw me drain out. So when the game is done, okay, after the game does its little game over sequence. All right, we're finished. We're showing our max sequence. All right, we did match, we didn't, we didn't win a free game. Game over. Scorbit will now show your score on your leaderboard, okay? And if you click the trash icon, it'll actually get rid of that score off the leaderboard, meaning I don't want to report that score. But if you get a great super score, you also get a, a Scorbit rank, which is pretty cool. Uh, worthy of attention, that's me. Uh, if you click save to leaderboard, It'll take you to this screen here. Now this is the screen where you can do all kinds of neat stuff with your score that you've just saved. Uh, you can hit the X button to get out of this if you don't want to do anything. The camera button right there will let, allow you to take a photograph of, this, of anything you want or choose, or choose from your library a photo to post along with the score. So that's kind of a cool way to like, you know, take a picture in front of it and show your friends that you're awesome. Uh, this is also, that's also the way to, to uh, log a score if you are playing a game uh, on location that does not have a Scorbit enabled on it, you can still use Scorbit to take pictures of the scores in, in kind of like a Pindigo fashion. This little Versus button here, this is cool. This is where you can send a, uh, a challenge to one of your friends. If I tap the Versus button, it'll bring up this uh, dialog box here that says challenge people to beat your score. And I can, uh, these are all my friends that I follow right now. And I can tap on, say, Flipstream, who's a a buddy and a rival of mine and click on Flipstream you can choose multiple people to challenge and so what happens is I'm gonna close that now Flipstream is selected to be challenged when I hit send challenge it'll it'll send a notification to Flipstream via the Scorbit app saying hey you have six days you have a week to beat uh, MPT3K's score at this score and when he launches the a game that I challenged him on it'll give him a different a little bit of a different experience it'll say okay you ready to play this guy you think you can handle it no it doesn't say that but anyway this is a cool way you can choose multiple people challenge a lot of people so when you put up that huge score challenge your friends to, to beat them they have six days to beat you I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that right now uh, this guy right here chooses so uh, you know you can you can share your score out on different social media uh, just like any other thing and there's a there's another mode that's not yet enabled but it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome and when you're done you just hit new game and you can go to play a brand new game a couple other features you might want to see when you click your profile those have a profile picture I think currently you can only upload a profile picture on the Scorbit website um, I could be wrong but that's how I upload my profile picture on the Scorbit website I'll put a link to the Scorbit website below for you to um, be able to look at your user account and stuff like that. Actually, I stand corrected. You can, in fact, upload a photo from your phone. If you just click on the little edit pencil right there, you'll see it comes up. Your profile will show up. And then from this screen, simply tap on, tap on your uh, profile picture like that. And you can choose to take a picture from the camera or from your user library. So uh, anyway, you can do it both ways, from the phone or from the Scorbit uh, website. And this is where you can edit all of your information about your profile. You can update stuff here. You can even put your IFPA player number in here, which will be uh, 
amazing to show all your friends that you're an IFPA ranked player. Uh, but if I hit that, I can do all these things. I can look at my profile right here. And this is my port profile in Scorbit. It'll, it's a place where it holds all your achievements and everything. Here are my scores on, uh, these are my scores on Guardians. I also have some scores on, let's load more. I should have some scores on Toy Story. And remember, you can use this with any Jersey Jack game. Any Jersey Jack game will have Scorbit enabled. So this could be fun. There's a picture of me and Audrey and Tales of Arabian Nights. Uh, a lot of me on MPT3K. Okay. Um, and it shows your achievements. And like I said, achievements that aren't currently supported in the Guardians yet, but we're gonna be working on achievements soon. So these are my achievements on uh, Toy Story 4. Uh, these are my challenges. This is, uh, this is me versus, uh, these are the challenges that I won actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, what's this pinball machine do? Oh, this is to find a pinball machine. And this little eye is uh, information about when I joined and stuff like that. Uh, another thing you might want to check out is the settings. Uh, if you go to settings right there, there are a bunch of different settings that you can uh, opt in on, opt out on. You can always check your app version here to make sure you're running the latest version of the build. Uh, remember, you need to be using version 1.28 or better for the Guardians to work. One thing I do want to point out is that uh, the Scorbit app is defaulted to saving your scores automatically to the leaderboard. So where in the beginning I showed you uh, my option to save to the leaderboard, it's going to be defaulted to save uh, for your convenience. Most users just want their scores to be saved and you know not have to be bugged about it. But if you want to change that preference, if you come into player preferences, you can change this ask to save score, uh, ask to save score to leaderboard. You can turn that on, like I said, it's going to be defaulted to off. You can turn that on and then it will show you that screen that I showed you where it says save the leaderboard. Otherwise, I'd say just keep it off. That way it'll just post your scores. You don't have to worry. It won't bug you uh, ever again about that stuff. Definitely take a look at all the preferences in the settings because a lot of the questions asked about Scorbit actually can be customized in the screen. Um, the uh, My Machines and My Venues buttons are to see uh, which machines you have uh, control of, so to speak, on Scorbit. That'll quickly find your machines. Uh, it's searching for my machines. So I, don't look at my screen because I actually control pretty much all the machines at Freegal Watch. So that's why it has a huge list. That's why it took a little while to come up. Then my Venues button, it shows me all the venues that I have kind of ownership on which as I said before, Free Goal Watch and Mystery Pinball Theater 3000. Make sure you visit Free Goal Watch if you're ever in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, what else is there? Anything else? Uh, and then there's your basic activity of all the things that kind of happened in the last few days. So that, is, oh, also uh, one other thing is this little button here, the pinball machine button, will allow you to search for machines. So if you're looking for a Toy Story maybe, I can go, uh, T-O-Y and it will find Toy Story 4 and if I click Toy Story 4 it will find it so it will show me the global scores for Toy Story 4 um, so it shows me the champion scores and everything and wow 94 million this is great uh, if I click on the little map button next to the machine that will help me locate a Toy Story 4 near me. So it finds the nearest, the closest Toy Story to you. And as you can see, that is the case. Free Goal Watch is a Toy Story 4, uh, just how? One kilometer? Zero kilometers? It's pretty close. I live pretty close to Free Goal Watch. Uh, and then this one little here, for with the little uh, people little icon right there, that's so you can find people. Um, find people to follow so just click on that and and go into search and make sure you search for mpt3k and follow me and send me challenges and I can't wait for you guys to uh, jump into the fun of challenging each other on your brand new shiny Scorbit enabled virtual pinball machine thank you so much to uh, Scorbit for uh, a lot opening the door to virtual pinball so we can start doing this kind of neat thing. This is MPT3K with the Pincredibles. Thanks.